Greetings and welcome to another edition of the Jacksonville Buzz. I am your host, Adrienne Housen. Now, joining me in the studio today is an incredibly interesting young lady who was from Jacksonville, moved to California, and is now between the two places. So let's talk to the amazing Courtney Barriger from Holding Court. Good morning. Good morning. It's such a pleasure to see you finally here in the studio with me. There's so much to talk about. The first thing I want to say is, can you expand a little bit about your background and Jacksonville? Oh, yeah. Um, well, I, I moved here with my family when I was like two. And uh, I mean, I lived here through, my gosh, the first 20 years of my life. So I know all the streets. Um, I've been through like all of the, <laughs> all of the, the dance scenes back in the day. Oh, my goodness. Like totally like took over all of the, the nightlife back in the day. Like I love Jacksonville. And so what, what made you move to California? Just um, something different mm -hmm. and lateral, you know, it's literally sure. just like across the 10. Yeah. So it's not scary. It's like, oh, there's sunshine, there's a beach there. Um, but I wanted to pursue writing and acting and design and art and everything. And it just seemed like a bigger pond for me to get lost in. So how did it all begin for, for Courtney? Um, well, you know, it's interesting, like holding court kind of began after I, well, I mean, I was in the fashion industry for like a decade, maybe more. I mean, I've been a model since I was a teenager. So, um, what ended up happening is like the most bizarre thing. And so LA, I, I won a reality TV show <laughs> and the prize was that I would get my own clothing line. Now, this line is not that clothing line. I've been through many iterations of, of life since then, but it just kind of began my journey into sustainability because with whatever I do, I always ask myself, like, how can I do this better? How mm -hmm. can I make this something that's more, I don't know, closer to the heart or just how can I improve our existence here? Mm -hmm. And uh, being given this opportunity to have a clothing line, that was the first thing that I asked. And let me tell you, like, the rabbit hole of sustainability in fashion is just deep and yeah. endless. So that's sort of where I am now. Like, I'm in that rabbit hole and trying to, to reveal everything to the world. Now, the, obviously, sustainability is on, on a lot of people's minds. And there's a lot of brands out there that are really focusing on that. What sets your brand apart from everybody else? Well, aside from just being like kind of a fun, flirty brand, like this is... I know, this is amazing, yeah. <laughs> I have to say. Thank it's you. An, it's an all-in-one, isn't it? Yeah, it's a jumper. So it's, it's, Fantastic. it's fun. So it's all like kind of retro, cosmic, um, vintage feels. But what really sets my brand apart is uh, I practice the threefold path of sustainability. So everything that comes out of my brand, it's focused on this cyclical thing, it's three parts, mm -hmm. and it's what you give, it's what you take, and it's the stories that you tell. So the three together should always be feeding into each other, and if one starts to become heavy, then you don't have the cycle anymore. And so the way that this translates into fashion and a brand is that what I take from the earth as a designer when I design something as a concept, um, I'm always taking what is the cleanest. So organic cottons, or if it's polyester, then it's going to have to be recycled because we can't make any more of that. It's right. just destroying everything. Um, and then the giving part is all about information, lectures, teaching, books, podcasts. It's the information about sustainability. Mm -hmm. So this I give for free. I have a podcast called Environmental Style Now, and I interview scientists and activists. Um, Adrian Grenier was one of my guests. I have some really awesome people that I've had the pleasure to talk to because um, I'm not a scientist, but I want to know what I can do from the scientists. Yes. So that's, that's what I can give sustainably. And the last is storytelling. So I have a whole <laughs> part of my company that is focused on telling stories about sustainability. So it's films, fashion films. I have a kid's book coming out. It's